Drake May. Boy, that didn't take very long, did it? Drake May announced he is staying at North Carolina. Now, obviously, there were rumors before uh, all over message boards, et cetera, from as early as the middle of the season that, yeah, when the season is over, he's going to transfer to Alabama. And then there started being rumors about he's going to transfer to Ohio State, et cetera. There were all these rumors about he wants to win a national title, and you can't do that with this defense, et cetera, et cetera. And then, which I, I didn't take any of this crap seriously until Phil Longo decided to leave North Carolina and head over to Wisconsin. When that happened, I I tweeted out immediately, ah, it might be time. This is when we need to uh, pay attention to the Drake May watch. And within an hour, I believe it was, he said, I, I'm never... I can't leave this place. Rumors completely shut down. Cheers to him. Now, remember, the May family is basically a legacy in Chapel Hill. Uh, The dad played quarterback there. The brother was on a Final Four team there. Like, he hit a game-winning shot in, like, the Sweet 16 or the Elite Eight or whatever it was. Like, this, it makes sense for him to stay at North Carolina. And now what I'm curious about is what is he going to look like in whatever this new offense is? Because we have seen this happen before. Everybody watched Brennan Armstrong last year when Robert and I was there and Jason Beck, the uh, the quarterback's coach at Virginia. So long as those coaches were there, Brennan Armstrong looked like an absolute stud. He was a day one, day two quarterback, whatever it was. He's having to transfer now because I don't know that he would be drafted in the NFL this year because of what that offense looked like under Tony Elliott. Now, I know that there's been a lot of stuff happening at Virginia. I'm not getting into the -the off-the-field stuff. What I'm saying is, if you're Drake May, would you really be coming out and saying, like, I'm staying in North Carolina no matter what without knowing who the new offensive coordinator is going to be? I mean, just something to consider. Just something to consider. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.